Well, good evening. We're going to wait a few seconds to make sure everybody's on. <clears throat> Well, I see we have at least two people on. That's great. Bunch of people on, great. <clears throat> Give it another few seconds and then we'll get started. <clears throat> All right, I'm Lenny from Lafayette and uh, I'm a retired safety advisor, consultant, whatever you want to call me. And um, after Lafayette kind of stabilized, my wife, my great, fantastic, wonderful wife, found the uh, Cajun Army Facebook page and uh, thought it might be a good idea if I came over and helped out. And the rest is history because I'm here. Um, I came over and met Rob Riley, and we got set up to stay here at the South Walker Baptist Church. So I'm going to walk around a little bit and show you. Uh, let me switch. We've got a whole bunch of stuff here that people have been picking up and bringing home. Uh, Anheuser-Busch sent cases and cases of canned water. And uh, Alicia, who has been running this place since then, uh, has been fixing meals for our volunteers and in this little kitchen here and doing a great job. This church actually housed about 100 people in this area here. It was all cleaned out, cleared out, and there was about 100 people between here and the upstairs bedrooms that uh, the volunteers are staying in. <clears throat> We've had people from Yeah, we've had people from all over coming in. Virginia, let me see, I've got them written down here. I'll probably forget some if I don't. Virginia, Arizona, we have uh, about five people from Cleveland, Ohio this week, and two from Austin, Texas. People from Arizona, Mississippi, Florida, Texas, uh, California, and we had a couple come in from France on vacation and end up helping out. So we've had people from all over the place, but I tell you what, we... Uh, could use some more. We need plenty of help here. Uh, we actually need some local people as well. We have several helping out, uh, but we could use a few more. Um, my job here is to travel around and preview homes before we go do anything there to make sure that uh, it's a job that, uh, that we want to tackle. Uh, what we look for is, uh, first of all, is this a job that uh, that we want to uh, that we want to do? Several of trailers that are not safe after being in the water. Um, unfortunately, some of these trailers have to be abandoned, and others just need to be cleared out so they can be hauled off or do whatever. Uh, and we'll help with that. Um, we need to find out if the person really needs assistance or are they just impatient. For instance, we've had <clears throat> we've had people that uh, haven't. Contractors come in in a few days and uh, said they needed help, and when we got finished or halfway through the job, they let us know that the contractors are coming in in a few days, and we need to um, put our resources in uh, more desperate situations than that. Uh, we need to find out how many feet of water 
they had in their house because that will may have a determination of uh, how big of a crew we need to send out there. So that's important. And sometimes we need to just um, help move things around, clean up the area. Sometimes people got help to remove all the sheetrock, but it's still sitting in the house with a bunch of furniture and goods. So we help them clear all of that out and clean the house up a little bit. <clears throat> Do we need to put somebody in a priority list? That's something we have to check out. Uh, perhaps they have an invalid in the family or maybe an elderly person or two elderly people. Um, and maybe we need to get them their help, uh, get them some help a little bit quicker than others. Um, sometimes we can't help with the demo at all, but they may need something, uh, something else. Uh, for instance, uh, ran across a family that was living in a trailer. They got some water and they kind of sanitized it a little bit, went back to living in the trailer and ended up getting sick, had to move out. We're having a hard time finding a place to stay. And um, since the trailer was in bad shape, we uh, I actually brought some tents out to them and uh, um, some sleeping bags, et cetera, et cetera, and they're actually using those. They've actually been in hotel rooms during the week, but on the weekends they end up in the tents. Um, in fact, uh, the little girl there, the granddaughter, is um, Christian Angel, and my wife and I put together a little backpack for her and um, brought her some stuff, and she was real excited about it, so that was really good. <clears throat> we have about, well, we have over 400 houses on the list, and uh, we'll probably have more when people that don't have TV or the Internet are suddenly finding out that they can get help if they go to the Cajun Army. <clears throat> so um, uh, we're going to need some more help. And, for instance, one example is we just found a lady today, or someone ran across this lady today living in a dog kennel. And um, this person didn't realize that she could uh, get some help. So she's now on our list. So those are the kinds of things that are going to keep popping up as we go. Um, so as I mentioned earlier before, we have lots of volunteers from all over the place, uh, including people from around here in Baton Rouge, and uh, we sure could use a lot more local people as well. Um, so not everybody can help in person, and that's fine. And if you can't, uh, we have a wish list. The Cajun Army has a wish list on Amazon. You can go into there and uh, actually purchase something for us that we need on our wish list, and they'll ship it directly to us. Uh, they have the address already in there, uh, and we will get it. And it's, since we're a 501c3 organization, it's tax deductible. So um, We want to give some shout-outs to people that have already done that, actually. Uh, there's quite a few people that are doing it. In fact, uh, let me show you a little something here. Uh, we get these little notices saying that uh, people have sent something and what they're sending. Um, we want to shout out to, to Shama, and she sent us some safety supplies and some pry bars. And uh, Tess sent us some more safety supplies. And Jasmine, she sent some garden sprayers that we use to spray for mold. So that's uh, really good. So anyway, any way you can help, it would be appreciated. If you can help in person, that's fantastic. And um, if you can't help in person, just going into the website and um, and consider making a donation through Amazon. I've got all kinds of people making comments here, but I haven't really read very many of them. <laughs> and Michael's uh, thanking my wife for sharing me with them, and that's really great because she has. Um, great. Well... Um, I guess that's it for tonight, and um, God bless everybody out there, and um, if you know somebody that needs some help and doesn't know about the Cajun Army, please let them know. And, um, oh, one other thing that we are in need of is some warehouse storage area. Uh, our ability to store in the warehouse now will end at the end of this month on Halloween night, the 31st. And we'll be having to move all of the stuff out of there into a new place. Um, hopefully we will find that place. And you surely can help us find that if uh, just ask around and uh, let us know. Uh, just go on to the Cajun Army Facebook page or the website 
and uh, thecajunarmy.com and uh, just let us know what you find out. And we will get back to you. Please leave some way for us to contact you, though, so we make sure we can uh, get all of you. Well, that's it for tonight. God bless. And uh, we will see you tomorrow night at 930 with somebody else giving a little broadcast. Good night. <laughs>